Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so we're going to do a quick little video here on basically what we've seen at San Diego Comic-Con related to G.I. Joe. Now, I'll discuss this more in depth on this week's uh, upcoming podcast of the Everything Transformers, Everything G.I. Joe podcast, but let's get into it. Also, stay to the end and you'll get my honest opinions on the Cobra Rattler, but let's jump right into it. Now, first of all, there's this weird little thing that happened where like the live panel on site was happening at the same time on YouTube, Hasbro had put up a video for people to watch. Some people were streaming the panel live um, and apparently they were asked to stop. So there was some overlap on what people were watching the panel versus the video on YouTube. One thing of note at the panel, Sergeant Slaughter actually showed up live at the panel, did a little song and dance, you know, talking about how cool it is to work with G.I. Joe. And then of course, what did he do? He revealed the G.I. Joe Transformer crossover Triple T Cup. And you know what? If you're a fan of the channel, you realize I did a video like last couple weeks ago and I was like, this rumored thing was missing in action because we'd heard that it was rumored for like almost a year now. Anyways, so basically it was finally revealed and I feel like I did that because it's just my luck. The Transformer panel is tomorrow, so could we see the Mobat Prime? Maybe not. Maybe maybe they're going to hold that one for a bit. First up, let's get the 60th anniversary figures out of the way. They're not really my thing. They're super cool, just not my thing. So first off, they had the Halo Jumper, which i seen pictures of him earlier, and I just thought it was Ripcord. It's meant to be a Halo Jumper, and he is super cool, so detailed, so many accessories, and he comes with that parachute that Lenny had mentioned during the Dragonfly stream. Uh, anyway, so it's cool to see that. Very cool indeed. I know a lot of people are gonna be excited to pick that guy up. Uh, next up, they had the 60th anniversary uh, female sniper. Um, once again, lots of cool accessories. I feel like a lot of them were from Lowlight's character. So that was really cool. To be honest with you though, I don't really know how many female snipers there were in the army. I mean, if somebody has some stats on that, those guys are really cool. They're super deluxe. They got a lot of accessories. Just not for me because I'm into G.I. Joe. Let's get to the G.I. Joe reveals. Uh, first of all, they had Leatherneck, who was basically just a one-for-one one of his a real American hero character. Looks pretty cool. It's also interesting that Leatherneck is part of that Triple T uh, G.I. Joe crossover, so I don't know if they designed them at the same time or whatever. I uh, just made it happen or just coincidence. But he's pretty straightforward. There's not much to say about Leatherneck. Next up, we have Xandar. I mean... I think, I always think of Xander as kind of like a, is not one of the core Dreadnoughts that we're used to. Of course, I grew up with the cartoon, so I remember, you know, it's very, very favorable memories about the three, you know, core Dreadnoughts. Uh, anyway, so Xander, he looks really good though. Like, they did a really good job bringing him to classify. There's something that looks very lively about him, and I'm impressed. So, I mean, I don't know if I'd rush out and get him, but he's definitely on my list of items to look out for. Lastly, for that reveal section, big news for me as a fan of G.I. Joe Real American Hero. I have asked for a long time now. We need more smaller vehicles like the Flight Pod, and finally, we're getting the Cobra Claw. It looks amazing, and I'm so excited to see this come to, uh, to to life and add it to my collection. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to be a similar price point as the Flight Pod, uh, but you know what? It's worth it. My only gripe is, once again, for me, I mean, a lot of people won't agree with this, but they keep on sticking uh, female driver pilots in with these vehicles, and I just, I just don't know if it really fits or whatever. That's all. Just for me. I mean, I would rather they just do the vehicles without pilots or maybe add characters that we actually want, but they know we're going to buy the vehicles anyway, so they kind of stick these female characters in. Um, just my opinion. Anyways, let me know in the comments how you feel about that. Would you rather have the vehicles? Would you rather have just a Cobra, a regular Cobra Trooper? Or, you know what, even Cobra Commander, Retro Cobra Commander would look nice on that claw. Anyways, super excited for the claw. Next up was the Steel Brigade Star Duster, and you know what? Stardust looks really cool, and a lot of people are excited for this guy. For me, personally, I never had a Starduster as a kid, so he doesn't really hold any nostalgia for me, but he looks super cool, and I love he comes with the, the jump jetpack. That is so cool, and the little the little cereal box, that's a nice touch as well. So, I mean, I can see why a lot of people are excited for, for that guy, and of course, he's a Pulse 
uh, con exclusive. So we'll see him in the fall. Now, related to pre-order times for all this stuff that I'm mentioning, I'll leave it in the comments so you can find it easier. So it'll be the pinned comment below, okay? So make sure you check that out. They love their Steel Brigade. And of course, we're getting a new, another two-pack. We've got a Steel Brigade Soldier with a Twilight Crimson Guard, which is like... I mean, I'd seen pictures of him pop, pop up earlier, and it looked like he had like a full-on cape on, and I was like, what is this, the Super Shadow Crimson Guard, because he's, he's a dark color uh, with a huge pulse rifle. Anyways, so very interesting two-pack. I don't know if it's for me, but I mean, a lot of people are going to be enjoying that. I mean, Crimson Guard is my one of my favorite characters, but I just like the normal red. Uh, let me know if you're going to get that two-pack. Of course, then later on, we got some name only reveals from that uh, Hasbro YouTube video. We got Heavy Duty, who you know they're going to go crazy and like crazy for because like that dude has a huge weapon and stuff like that with missiles and machine guns. You know they're going to go crazy with that guy. You got Heavy Duty. The next up is Law & Order, who I think I predicted that he was coming a long time ago because he's one of those core characters, especially if you like the movie. Um, that and they seem to be uh, hitting those movie characters. So I mean, Law and Order is coming. He's gonna probably have his dog, obviously. So he's gonna be a deluxe. Um, so I mean, he's gonna be pretty cool. And then you have more retro characters, which you're gonna have Rock and Roll, Doctor Mind Member, and the Cobra Viper. Um, so they're gonna be nice additions to the retro collection. So, I mean, there's not much to say about them. We've already seen all those characters, but they just look so nice on the retro packaging. Don't you agree? Now, I was keeping you on your toes because I actually skipped over two characters. Of course, they revealed Road Pig. And man, that guy is a big boy. Did you see how big he was? Of course, he's a deluxe. He comes with a ton of accessories. And he's got his sledgehammer. He's got a mask. He's got an altar and a head. A lot of stuff. He also comes with a pet. I have to be honest, I'm not really feeling when hasbro does this or whatever like he never had a pet in a real american hero and i know this is a separate line but sometimes i feel like they add the pet in and they drive up the price i'd much rather have a cheaper price than the dog or whatever but still a cool addition to Rope pig and you know what they're filling out those dreadnoughts i think we might need a thunder machine at some point Come on guys, let's get to that. And then lastly, we had our first uh, real images of Raptor. Uh, I did see pictures online earlier of Raptor and he looks pretty cool. Um, he's rocking those uh, Marvel Legends Vulture wings. Um, he looks cool. Uh, we're starting to get into the freaks of the Cobra now. And you know, some people just like the military stuff. Some people like it all. Raptor, he does look pretty cool. I like the images they've shown of him. I don't know if I'd pick him up, but I definitely think they did a really good job. Like some figures um, are like just one for one real American hero versions like Leatherneck, like I discussed earlier, but Raptor's been classified. So he is joining the line. He looks pretty cool. And uh, let me know down below which of these v reveals that they showed today. What are you getting? What will you be pre-ordering? Now, my thoughts on the Cobra Rattler. We all knew it was coming. People did videos. I did videos on it. And I did posts on it. We all knew it was coming. And it's finally been revealed. It's already like halfway backed. It's going to be backed like very easily. I mean, it's not his level backing where it's like it was uh, the his level was backed like eight hours, but the Rattler is on its way. Now, do I think it's really cool? I think it's really, really cool. At the price point of $324 American, I am concerned that it's a little pricey. Now, you're getting a lot of stuff. You're getting a lot of weapons, a lot of accessories. Do I think they did us kind of dirty where the first tier is that patches? the three patches. When I originally seen that, I assumed it was similar to the stickers that came with the Dragonfly and they were just thrown in. Uh, Cause I don't even think they mentioned the stickers for the Dragonfly uh, campaign. They were just like, hey, we have these stickers for the stand. And I thought we were getting the similar thing. But to say that that's tier one, I don't think that's a good idea. Anyways, like even during the live stream panel, people were like going hashtag no patches. And so some people are not really happy with that, but Hasbro knows what they're doing, right? So we need 9,000 backers to fund this thing, but the first unlock is really only at 14,000 to get that gunner. So to get that gunner, you need 14,000. So you know it's gonna get to 14,000. Now, the real cool thing, they did an amazing job on the Baroness. The Baroness looks amazing. I like, I mean, I think a lot of people are gonna order this 
uh, Rattler, assuming they're going to get that amazing, really high quality, uh, really cool pilot Baroness. And I have to be honest, I want that Baroness. She is amazing. I love the short here, the version they have. They have multiple accessories for her. She looks really cool. I really hope this uh, campaign makes it to the 18,000 and she gets unlocked. I think it will. What do you guys think? But besides that, the Rattler is really awesome. It didn't really wow me like when I seen the Dragonfly for the first time. Now, that being said, maybe I'm kind of used to what we're expecting now when we've seen the Dragonfly. We've seen a lot of other smaller vehicles like the Vamp and the Stinger since the Dragonfly was announced. And so we're kind of getting more into this, more deep into this. So maybe the Rattler didn't wow me for those reasons. But my number one concern was the size of the Rattler. And I was like, no, you can't do a Rattler, it's too big. But they fixed that and they were super smart and if you haven't seen it yet the wings while they do rotate to, to allow that vertical lift that in their normal operation they can fold up like a, almost like a jet on an aircraft carrier so that saves a lot of people some shelf space i mean you're still going to need a big shelf to store that rattler but you won't have to deal with the wingspan, which is really, really, really smart. They did that, that's a good job. Some smart engineering went into that. Overall, I think the Cobra Rattler is cool. I don't know if I'll back it personally because it's really expensive because I'm Canadian, so $324 American, that's gonna be like almost like $500 to get it to my house. So I don't know if I'll back it right now. I gotta think about it, I gotta do some math. Anyways, but am I impressed with it? Yes, I am, and I think they did a good job about it. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Are you going to, I mean, we've already talked about this. Are you going to get a Rattler? Are you going to get five Rattlers? But anyways, uh, what do you think of the price? What do you think of the tier unlocks? And what do you think of the overall quality of the Rattler and its features? One thing I have to say, sometimes I do think they stick in extra things they don't need to. I think it's kind of cool that the, all the joysticks of the Rattler in the front and the gunner position move, but like, do you really need that level of detail? I don't know because I mean, who's seen it move? The action figures don't really drive the, the Rattler. They don't really drive it, guys. We'll see how it goes. I'm really impressed what they showed at the panel and I'm looking forward to what they're gonna show at the Transformer panel tomorrow as well. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching and make sure you check out the podcast coming this week.